Hello. Of course we gonna make a watercolor. And uh, water, two birches, uh, birch trees, and distant trees. We take a high horizon. And we make trees in front of that. And there is some land. And there's here something. But first, we come to make the birch trees, and we do that by masking them out about this, but not the straight lines. They are now uneven, let's say that. Okay, the paper is blocking for it. So when you take the tape off, we must make it warm with a hairdryer. Uh, we need a bit of water. And a bit of a clean pellet, not, not very important. But. So, we make the sky first, and then directly we go in with the uh, with the trees. We need a bit of a light color. Let's look. It's not light enough. A bit water more. It is light. Easy does it. Then we take the same colors or warm, warm blues. And a bit of cat red, cat red to make it a bit purple. It needs to be a bit uh, more pigment because you have to see it. It's not that's okay, maybe a bit more.
that's better. It was too much water from the sky wash. Try to make a bit of a rough edge. Okay, that is nice. It dries lighter. This sort of puddles you have to keep an eye on. Then we have Very light wash here. We add a bit of raw sienna to that to make it grey. So blue and red and raw sienna makes grey. Something happened here that I don't like. Well, we look after that. We have here in the corner, we can use a big brush first, a bit of bush. In this corner too. Then we take a rigger. Maybe a bit warm here. Bit of burnt sienna here. And then here. It's warm today. It is uh, the humidity is very low. This weird thing. But you manage. Uh, what next? Uh, I think waiting for drying. Okay, it is dried. Still a bit cobbles, but 
no problem. Uh, we're going to do the water, but also in a simple way. Cobalt blue. Maybe a touch of Taylor blue. Is this Taylor blue? No, this is Taylor blue. Then we get a light. Can be lighter. Um, That is nice. So we're gonna make the trees here. Cobalt blue and yellow ochre. Like it maybe a lot more blue here than here must be warmer. So more. Bit of dark.
Well, don't fiddle too long. Because it is not so important. The, the focal point is uh, are the, the trees. The rest is all uh, to make it look better. But you need no shapes. Still, I need dark here. A bit. It's boring, but we have to wait to dry again. I made this line I think it looks okay It's a bit more interest Well, it's dried a bit. I did this with a damp brush, and I see now there is a bit of mist appearing here. I like it. I like it. Now we need to loosen the birch trees or shall I? Oh, I make first uh, the land here. I do that with uh, burnt sienna. And this is burnt umber I think. Yes, burnt umber. This is a nice color. I use it Pure, because I like to mix on paper. I need a cloth here. A cloth. Um, then I need some. This is green, so this is blue. Bit of warm blue. This is Alice Green. Yes. Alice from Crimson. Ultramarine blue. This is uh, cadmium blue. Yellow. This is. Uh, Yellow ochre, light red, alizarin. This is some kind of purple, I don't remember. Uh, cadmium red, sap green, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, ultramarine violet, Taylor blue, rose sienna, burnt sienna, uh, burnt umber. I think this is. Neutral tint, and here we have sepia. Yes, sepia. Don't use them all because your uh, painting becomes to look like a Christmas tree. And we love Christmas, but not always. Bit of water because I don't 
want hard color there. Bit of purple. I don't make things, uh, I just look for a nice shape. I don't, I cannot teach you that. You just practice. Make it dark. Also green, blue and burnt umber. A branch or some, br some branches. Then we need Branches. You don't have to copy them or mirror them. It's just good how it is. Maybe just a bit too much. So you take the blow dryer. It's a new blow dryer. Uh, I forgot to tell you, these are the my Miris I have here. You notice it is all transparent, and that is uh, really nice of my Miri. The violet, the ultramarine violet here, all and the rest. Okay, 
we take the big rigger. We are almost finished. We need dark color. We need also purple a bit. Dark color. Ultramarine blue, burnt amber. You can either take burnt sienna for that or sepia, it's even can become darker. So, I don't practice a lot on birch trees. Bit of purple maybe. It's a bit too much. Wet brush. I always say let the water be your kite. I think uh, what shall we do? Doesn't matter. A bit of shadow on the sides. That's nice. Uh, burnt uh, Umber, Ultramarine Blue. Be aware that this is not a masterpiece, of course. It's a demo. If you do this one, don't copy the the branches exactly where I am. I, I just do something that I think, ah, it looks nice. So it's this. And This is a bit odd, but okay. Um, 
I like to do I wet this bit and I like to do some reach. So I can not have a hard edge here. Maybe some spatters. Not everywhere. Well, you see, I don't have a blow dryer and the paper rips up. That's as usual with uh, cellulose paper. By the warmth, it goes a bit like this, but well, this is a bit of a black blob. Just do it like that. Uh, further there was a question, uh, because I use also Aquafine from Dollarani, those uh, these sorts of tubes, blues and browns and reds. I've, I have them on another pellet, it's a Holbein 500, and this, this the other one was a Holbein 250. Practically the same colors, uh, also burnt sienna, burnt umber, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue. Only other on the palette, because when I make grey, I have the same puddle. And I need a bit darker, I can darker with burnt umber. This is a dark mix. For sky colors I have this, with greens I have this, this is light red and this is Oh, this uh, brown matter. And we have this. And I made this one with the uh, Aquafine. So you see. Also a great result. But this is more transparent my Miri. But on the whole, it's fine quality to paint with.
Well, I hope you enjoyed. Sure, I did. See you next month.